everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Isha Verma I am a CA final student and in this video I will be sharing out my strategy of CA final law that helped me secure exemption so I secured 66 marks in CA final law and this is the strategy which I follow and also this strategy has been shared to me by my mentor CA Atul Khurana Bhaiya and I followed it and it helped me secure 66 marks in law so let me first start with how the trend of law paper has always been for the last three to attempt, uh, three to four attempts. So for the past two to three attempts, law paper has never been very easy. Uh, it has been technical in nature. But what does technical in nature mean? Technical in nature mean that simply going through the question bank or the scanner won't help you clear the examination. You need to know the provisions, you need to know each and every provision section which is there in your study material. Yeah, that is the meaning of a technical paper. And how was the May 22 paper? Of course, May 22 paper wasn't that easy. If you ask someone out there who gave the May attempt, they will definitely say it wasn't very easy, it wasn't an easy paper, it wasn't an easy paper. Just that audit paper was beyond what was expected and that is why audit took the limelight of the entire group. But law paper was defini definitely technical and not that easy. Yes? So let me start with the strategy. So the first thing that I, uh, the strategy which I followed was I never started with big chapters. Again, the same strategy which I followed in FR. So I never started with big chapters. I started with small chapters. I started with chapter number 9. I moved on to 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I switched to chapter number 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. Then you can move on to chapter number 1, 2, 3 if you want to. Otherwise, I, I switched to arbitration. I switched to formula. And I switched to FCRA after doing these many chapters. And then I switched back again to chapter number 1, 2, 3. So I did this because chapter number 1, 2, 3, it helps you to secure the entire director chapter. Again, I'm talking about the study material, no other book that I followed. Uh, so again, chapter number 1, 2, 3, which is directors, it is a huge chapter and it will definitely help you score that 20, 25 marks because every year the first question, which is the compulsory question, comes from chapter number 1, 2 or 3, which is directors. So again, if you have a good hold on it, will help you secure 20 to 25 marks in your examinations. But if you start with chapter number 1, 2, 3, you, do, you will be left with a very panicky situation at the end. Because these three chapters will take about 2 to 3 weeks of yours, your preparation. And you will have this thing in your mind that you are left with the entire syllabus. All that panicky thing will be going on, right? So always start with the small chapters, complete all of them and then move on to chapter number 1, 2, 3. Again, never leave chapter number 1, 2, 3 very important, you know, very important for clearing examinations. Then um, after doing the sequence which I told you, I followed the sequ sequence. I was left with FEMA, IBC and SEBI. IBC I did completely because there was high chances of one question amendment question which was supposed to be there in the examination as predicted by so many teachers out there on YouTube and various platform. So I did IBC and yes the amendment question came in the examination so I was able to write the answer. When it came to FEMA and SEBI I like uh, selectively studied these two chapters. I did FEMA only from the uh, question bank because usually when a question comes from FEMA, it is not very difficult, not very technical. So even going through question bank of FEMA will help you out covering the, uh, you know, covering the syllabus of FEMA. Again, FEMA only comes for about 10 marks in examination and SEBI again comes for 6 to 10 marks. So FEMA and SEBI, they come for 10, 10 marks each and they take a lot of your time. Just imagine one entire FEMA taking two weeks of yours and again chapter 1, 2, 3, the director chapters taking two weeks of yours. This director chapter which is taking two weeks of yours will give you 25 marks but the same FEMA chapter that is again taking two weeks of yours will only fetch you 6 to 7 marks. Again, what is the right strategy to focus more on chapter number 1, 2, 3 and less on chapter FEMA? right so i did the same i did not focus much on fema i did not like i almost didn't do sebi almost didn't do sebi i just flipped the pages as in what is there in the uh, 
syllabus. So I almost didn't do SEBI. I only did uh, FEMA selectively because 10 marks be thick hai. But it's not like 10 marks. Why, should, why to lose even 10 marks if the question is very easy, right? And I focused more on chapter number 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nahi. 13 I just went like read once. And I did 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. Again, to be uh, like uh, the first question which is there, which is the compulsory question, it, will, it mostly has one numerical. Uh, numerical related to chapter number 1, 2, 3 or IBC. Um, IBC, yeah, yeah, IBC ka bhi rehta hai, yeah. So chapter number, just, which is the compulsory question there in your question paper, it contains one numerical, either from chapter number 1, 2, 3 or IBC. And these numericals are not very difficult to be solved. So please, there is this chapter number 1, 2, 3, it has concepts of profit calculation, it has uh, concepts of, uh, you know, uh, profit, yeah. Uh, the amount to be paid to directors, all that calculation part, what is the limit, percentage part, please uh, go through the numericals related to that. And in this IPC, there is a question of order of payment. When you are doing the payment, there is an order that you need to follow. So again, uh, these are like two, three questions, practical questions, which usually you can see in the question paper, either question number one or question number two. So be thorough with the practical question, which will fetch you marks instantly and uh, you know, free ke marks hote hai isme. Six marks, or uh, four marks, you'll get for free. Okay. Now, we're coming to the next part. Uh, what did you do for uh, question bank or scanner? So, again, as I told you, I took classes from Siyatul Pranabhaya. So, he gave me question bank. He prepared the question bank and he gave me the question bank of eight chapters. I did these uh, questions from the chapters that he, uh, that question bank he gave me, PDFs that he gave me. If you all want it, I can share the PDFs on uh, the telegram channel and you can just go through the uh, question bank third point how did i do mcq for mcq i had munish bhandari sir book i think my senior like my friend of mine who completed ca he gave me that book ki rakhle, na rakhle book. so that book was there with me so i thought of doing mcq why not why not let's give a try if the book is there why not to try so i did the mcq from munish bhandari sir book and uh, you can just refer that if you have the book. I'm not very sure the updated version comes to the market right now or not. Are they available in the market or not? But yeah, I did MCQ from Munish Pandari's so book. At least I went through the MCQs once from each chapter. Okay. Now let's move on to the third part, test. Test, kaise diya? did I do mock test? Did I do writing practice? What did I even do? So before the, uh, before I was down with dengue fever, my mentor, he used to give me tests every now and then. So he used to compile two, three chapters and gave me as test. But post dengue, I took a break of two, three months. I didn't do anything. So when uh, the, it, it was time for me to self test my own practice, my own preparation. And then I did self testing. How? So suppose the whatever was the question bank that was given to me by my mentor. So suppose the question bank had like 25 questions. I asked my brother or my mama or any of my friends to just randomly pick any five questions from serial number 1 to 20. And suppose they gave me 5, any 5, 15, 12, 8, 9, 8, 7, which be. I took them as my test questions and I practiced these questions on my own. And I gave the test and I accordingly I marked myself. How can I improve and in everything? Okay, so that was the third part, which, which third part, which was the writing part. Again, if you want exemption in any of the subjects, any of the groups, that subject has to be prepared very well with all the written practice, all the provisions done, everything out there to be covered properly. And this is what I do did, and that helped me secure exemption. So if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and. Please join my Telegram channel for more updates. Bye-bye.